Hello friends. So I'm standing in the field that I just harvested a butternut squash from and I also harvested potatoes and some sweet potatoes from this field too this year. And I just freshly rototilled it so it looks very nice and nice and clean and neat and orderly. However, there is a work yet to be done for this field. In Psalms chapter 80 and verse 9, it talks about how God for his people prepared room for them, comparing them to a plant, and that they took deep root and filled the land. However, the only way that they could take deep root is if the ground is soft enough for them to sink their roots deep. You see, we can do a shallow surface work as Christians and not get deep in our relationship with Christ. And that is how God wants us to be. So I have a special implement on the tractor today called a subsoiler. Now a subsoiler breaks the soil up very, very deep. And I'll show you that now. So you can see I have this implement on the three-point hitch on the tractor. And you actually can't see most of the subsoiler right now. And that's because it's actually underground. This subsoiler has about a 30-inch shank on it. And that shank goes to the ground and breaks it up very, very deep. So that way the roots and the plants have an easier time of making it to that moist and rich fertile soil way underneath the soil. So in our relationship with God, he doesn't want us to have a shallow work. He wants us to have a deep work. He doesn't want us just to have a surface religion where we look nice outwardly and we have an outward ceremony that we follow. You know, maybe going to church every week, saying the right things, saying religious words. No, friends, he wants us to have something much more than that. He wants us to have a deep and thriving relationship with him, rooted and grounded in love and in truth. So, when you're tempted to have a shallow religion and just go through the motions, a set form of prayers, saying the things that you normally do, think about what it would be like to have a deep work with Christ where you can be constantly getting that nutrition and that water from your roots that are sunk deep into him when all around you there's um, drought and dryness and parched land. Think about how wonderful that would be, not to have to depend on outward circumstances, but to have that wonderful, deep relationship with Him. So I want to encourage each and every one of you to seek for that in your life, and that's what I'm seeking for too. And the beautiful thing is, as we see these things where we're involved in object lessons, where we're actually doing things outwardly and physically, it teaches us about God. So as I subsoil this field, I'm thinking about, Lord, how can I have that deeper walk with you? May the Lord grant each and every one of you a deep walk with him today. Take care.